Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. I want to dedicate this video solely to the number one thing on the mind of many Madden ballers from Madden 17. The aggressive catch. Is it still in the game? Is it still effective? How does it work? After many patches and tutors released to address it, people still don't feel the developers got it right. I will also touch upon the new physics system on the actual football itself, which directly correlates to catching and many other aspects of the game. Let's get it. So to answer your main question, is aggressive catch still in the game in Madden 17? Yes, it's still in the game along with all the other catch types introduced into the game last year, the possession and the rack catch as well. But it has been greatly toned down and only the top wide receivers with high jump, spectacular catch, catching traffic ratings like Odell Beckham Jr., Julio Jones, Hopkins and Des Bryant will be able to go up and make those spectacular catches consistently. So no more cases of Darren Sproles going up in the crowd and snatching the ball down like a rebound. Going up for an aggressive catch now has some risk to it because if you go up in coverage and you get rocked, your receiver has a chance of getting injured. For the CFM guys, there is some awesome injury stuff coming, but I can't talk about that since it hasn't been released yet. So stay tuned. Well, there are people who believe EA has taken some skill out of the game with the one button catching. But just for you guys, they've added a user bonus on the defensive side. When you click on a defender and use the defensive ball air mechanics, you get a user bonus. So all the balls out there who click on and control their guys, rejoice as you will be rewarded. They've also added a ton more animations so that the DB and wide receiver battle looks even more realistic and the defender actually performs according to your input. So not only is spectacular aggressive catching limited top wide receivers, they improved the swap mechanic, AKA the aggressive catch killer. This year using the swap will give you no chance for the interception, what will basically shut down aggressive catch attempts. This is one of those times where someone reading from off the dev block will say, oh, I hope this works. Maybe this will work as intended. No, I played it, tested it, and I can pretty much confirm this swap mechanic is the aggressive catch killer. The only downside being that you lose the chance of intercepting the ball. I can live with that. This is why I have such confidence in Rex, Clint, and the current dev team as they are getting all that old last gen code out of the game and writing stuff from the ground up. The new ball physics system is a game changer. It impacts so many facets of the game from knockouts when catching the ball, the kicking game, loose ball recoveries, even quarterbacks taking hits when passing. This is one of those things people who haven't played the game will claim is just the back of the box, check mark the feature and it really doesn't matter. No, it's major. Those plays where the wide receiver will catch the ball through the defender are gone. When the defender swats the ball or breaks up a play that's it's no longer a can animation or can pop up. The ball realistically reacts how it would in real life. So frequently high pop-ups Madden 16 are gone, but now give defenders a better chance to catch it when there's a realistically tipped or knocked up pass. Individual physics on the ball now allows for randomness in quarterback sacks. In Madden 16, when a QB was hit, most of the time it resulted in incomplete pass into the ground. In Madden 17, the ball will organically go where it should. From my hands on time, I had one play in the red zone where I was hit late in my throwing motion and the ball trajectory was affected, sending it right into the defender's arms. This physics system now allows for fumbles and strip sacks. Shout out to my man Sim F Ball Critic who's been asking for strip sacks for a while now. They are in the game. The new ball mechanics makes recovering a loose ball look so much more organic as players dive and fight for a fumble. It has a randomness to it in the same way a fumble recovery does in real life. They just need to add in a Cam Newton, I don't want no parts of this button for quarterbacks who want to opt out of going for the fumble. Well, that's it for today's guys. Hope you enjoyed another breakdown. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will answer the ones that I'm allowed to speak about. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and turn those notifications on so you don't miss any of our Madden 17 content as we release things daily. This is The Natural. I'm out.
zone coverages have rules for each player's assignments and use real NFL techniques in executing them. Each player knows his coverage and understands how it relates to the entire coverage being called. So he has the ability to make progression reads and match patterns of the offense. The new zone coverage logic, there are now 10 different zone coverage assignments that can be used in various combinations of coverage, up from only three in Madden 16. The play art will actually show you what each zone assignment is on that particular play. Let's go over these new zone assignments really quick. The cloud flat. The cloud flat zone assignment primarily used in 